Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, whatever you want to, yeah, it's a YouTube channel. <laughs> so I'm kind of getting into the swing of making more consistent content, um, not intentionally, it's kind of just happening because I'm trying really hard to use my voice more, talk more, share my opinions, share my thoughts, and not hold back regardless of the attitude or sass that I might get. I went on Instagram today and I was going through my stories and I noticed a few people share a YouTube video of this girl talking about why she stopped being vegan. Her name is um, Bonnie Rebecca. I have never heard of this person and to be quite honest with you, I don't really follow a lot of vegan accounts unless there's somebody that I'm personally friends with or they post about other things that I'm interested in like mental health, spirituality, yoga, and they just like happen to be vegan but I don't follow like any food accounts or any vegan activist accounts unless it's somebody that I'm like friends with and in a way feel morally obligated to follow them. Not that that's okay <laughs> if you don't like someone's content you shouldn't have to feel obligated, but that's neither here nor there. I saw this in somebody's story that she posted this video, and for some reason I just felt drawn to watch it. This is essentially a response to that video, and if you haven't seen it, I'll link it in my bio. I highly recommend you watching it. It's probably the best 38 minutes that you could spend <laughs> in, if, in terms of if you're like intrigued by this or curious or feel threatened by it, quite honestly because if that's the case, then you should probably watch it. I don't think that a diet is a one size fits all thing. There's no specific blueprint that works for everybody in the world. Everybody is totally different. Our bodies are totally different and they're unique to us. We each have different needs. We each come from different cultures, have different backgrounds, and there's so much information and so many different ways of living out there. I don't think that there's one specific thing that everybody should live by. And I actually typed this really nicely in my story, so I'm gonna read exactly that. I know I'm gonna get shit on for this, and I can only imagine what Bonnie is experiencing right now from the vegan police and just people that are assholes. I just wanna stress something here. Diet is not a one size fits all thing. And that is why I think that it's incredibly immoral to shit on somebody for their lifestyle choices. You don't know why they're doing their thing, eating the way that they are. You don't know their story. Why and in what way in the world would that give you the right to judge them, to be telling them what's right and what's wrong? Like, who are you to make that decision? But without getting into an angry tangent about that. I think it's amazing that she made this video and I have so much respect for her and I have so much respect for a lot of vegans actually that have been kind of like coming out of the closet lately, talking about implementing new things into their diet and even giving up veganism, whether it's for health reasons or whatever that may be for you. Bravo, and good for fucking you for talking about it and posting about it and not having, not letting fear stop you because fear is a virus. Fear is something that truly is infectious. And I feel like when people feel threatened or feel fearful of things, that's exactly what that does. They, it spreads chaos, it spreads negativity, it's, it just spreads disruption, disruption that nobody really needs. And it's not really doing anything good for you to be purging that kind of negative energy and dumping that onto somebody else. I think it's great that she shared this video and I think that you really need to watch it. It just explains everything. She talks about her gut health, she talks about why all the different doctors and different things that she did to try her best for her and her partner to stay on this lifestyle and why it came down to that's not what works for them, what they're doing now and just I'm not the best person with um, reiterating information 
verbatim and and like speak I have I don't have good short-term memory but I have been really intrigued by the idea of incorporating fish and eggs into my diet eggs specifically because I have really poor memory short-term memory I've always had issues with learning and your brain health is super important and again I don't even remember what was relayed to me directly um, in terms of why it might be a good idea for me to incorporate this back into my diet but i'm but regardless of the fact it keeps coming up and i feel like i'm being called to incorporate these things back into my life um for nutritional reasons i've been experiencing some things within myself that i've been questioning i haven't had them checked out because i don't have insurance right now i have really ridiculous acne that keeps flaring up in my chin, which indicates that my hormones are unbalanced. I did come off birth control, but it's been a few months now and I eat really well. Um, I get facials every three weeks. My mom is an esthetician. My skincare is down packed. It's not that. And my complexion is great. It's something else that's going on internally. I did some fasting for a little bit, not like consistently, but I did 24 hour increments. I juice i do the celery juice i there's just there's so many things and again like i'm not saying that i haven't exhausted my different avenues and i'm not jumping the gun to go and do this right now but i'm wondering if it is something that i should be open to and i am open to it i think that i know that i would never in my life eat meat or beef or like I wouldn't eat anything like that again, but I am open to fish and eggs. And I think for me, the biggest thing standing between eating fish is that I don't think that I live in a place where it's worth having. Like it's not, I don't know why I'm like holding this. It's not quality. I think if I were to be in a place where it was really fresh, high quality, not coming from like dirty water and local because I really think eating local is important I would be open to it eggs I have friends who have chickens and like they their chickens leave such great lives they have very loving homes and um they lay eggs and their owners eat the eggs and to me I think that's really nice I don't see anything wrong with that um, again though, not saying that I'm gonna like go out and buy a chicken and do that like next week. I'm just kind of talking about and starting a conversation for where my head is at and why I don't object to those things and why I don't think that you should object to those things because let me tell you something, not everybody is gonna be able to live this way. I also just heard recently about the blood type diet and like according to your culture or heritage or whatever, you certain people need certain things and certain people can process certain things that others can't like i'm italian so maybe i can eat more pasta whereas somebody who's a culture that can't eat a lot of pasta <laughs> wouldn't be able to do that and would affect be affected negatively from carbs and that maybe sounds naive and like it makes no sense but i think you get the idea and how like for example, I'm a positive, my blood type, and I was researching that and it was saying that my diet, I could get away with a vegan diet, a vegetarian diet, or a pescatarian diet. And it's because of my um, Mediterranean roots and according to the types of foods that my relatives, I guess, would be eating like when they were growing up. So a Mediterranean diet is like, I'll look up a definition <laughs> so that I can give you exactly what it is. A Mediterranean diet is characterized especially by a high consumption of vegetables, olive oil, and moderate consumption of protein such as fish, which is kind of similar to how I was brought up. Inspired by the eating habits of Greece, Southern Italy, and Spain, foods include vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, legumes, potatoes, whole grains, breads, herbs, spices, fish, seafood, olive oil, eat in moderation, poultry, eggs, cheese, and yogurt. I would never eat dairy again, like milk. I'm not, I'm lactose intolerant and that shit fucked me up. So 
not about to incorporate that back into my life. Don't eat sugar sweetened beverages, wouldn't do that anyway. Processed meat, wouldn't do that anyway. Refined grains, wouldn't do that anyway. <laughs> Refined oils and other highly processed foods. And according to my blood type, I should be eating a positive blood type diet eats organic, vegetarian, or almost vegetarian food plan, foods that inc include soy protein such as tofu, certain grains, ugh, fucking time limit. Do you guys do this? Because it's driving me nuts, kind of. I have it set really low. Certain grains such as spelt, I eat that, whole barley, sprouted bread, I eat that, walnuts, pumpkin seeds, peanuts, got it olive oil, certain fruits such as blueberries and elderberries, beans and legumes, vegetables, especially dark leafy greens such as kale, Swiss chard, and spinach, literally my life, garlic and onions, cold water fish such as sardines and salmon, green tea, ginger, limited amounts of animal protein such as turkey and eggs. I would not eat a turkey and eggs I'm open to. I'm just putting it out there. I don't know if this is something that like, I'm grateful that veganism brought me to being more conscious about my life, my lifestyle, the foods that I'm eating, where they come from, knowing more about the food indus industry and agriculture. I always grew up with a appreciation for local seasonal foods, and I ate very similarly to the Mediterranean diet. Again, I would never eat meat. I'm feeling like these things are being these messages are being brought into my life so that I should be questioning, I should be researching because there are certain things that I've experienced lately that are kind of alarming. Like I have digestive issues, I have the hormonal acne, I have bloating, I have really bad gas. Am I eating too much fiber? I don't know. I don't eat a lot of processed foods. I have a relatively clean diet. I don't know, it's just something that I'm open to looking into and I would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions and are you somebody who's super hardcore vegan? What if a doctor told you that you did have to change your diet according to the video that I just watched? That's kind of what happened. What if a doctor told you that you had to change your diet in order to fix the concern that you were having? Maybe you have a parasite, maybe you have something going on where your gut is ruined and you need to repair your gut. I mean, your gut health is everything. All disease begins in your gut. Hippocrates says that. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but your gut is like your second brain. It's literally, and I just talked about this in my yin training that I did, like the whole theory of listen to your gut, do it because it's super important. And right now my gut is telling me that I need to focus on my gut and I need to eat foods that are abundant for that and maybe even go see a doctor. I don't know how I would do that because I don't have insurance, but that's the next step. Healing your gut allows the body to build a stronger immune system and produce the right kind of bacteria that tells your brain that it's okay to feel good again. The health of your gastrointestinal system is extremely important to your overall well-being and also is largely responsible for the critical functions of the body's digestive and immune systems. Beneficial bacteria in your digestive system have the capability of affecting your body's vitamin mineral absorbency, hormone regulation, digestion, vitamin production, immune response, and ability to eliminate toxins, not to mention your overall mental health. Like, if that's not everything, I don't know what is. I'm gonna just end this here. So let me know what you think of this. Comment below, let's start a conversation. Let me know if you watched that video. I highly recommend it. Yeah, so that's why I've never been the vegan police. These are my responses and thoughts towards the video that I just watched. If you're feeling something, listen to your gut get the test, go to the doctor, figure it out because your body could be signifying something to you for a reason. And don't be stubborn, don't be fearful, and don't worry about what other people are gonna think if you do have to make a change to your lifestyle because at the end of the day, it's your body, it's your life, it's your quality of life. And I think you need to respect that and take care of that. So, thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs>